What a matchup we have here in the front court, Gray. Here we go. Yeah, each of these teams are anchored by their big men. I think it's going to be physical and highly intensified. Now, Golden State's starting five. Kaminga steps in at the four with Green sliding up to center. In the backcourt, we'll see Curry and Pajemski. And it's healed in its small forward. And good work inside. SGA will make more room for himself on the perimeter when he can be effective down low. Now here's Heald. Back to Curry. Five on the clock. The Thunder pull it in. They're getting their first look of the season at the Warriors in this one. And even though they were the better team overall, they actually lost the season series against this club a year ago. Really strong rebounding on the interior, and he gets the easy put back. Outside, Kaminga. Healed outside. Knocks down the three ball. You got to expect this from a high volume shooter with range like Heald. He loves to let threes fly from everywhere. Pass to Caruso. Curry against Gilgis Alexander. Raymond Green grabs the miss. And so Green will bring it up for Golden State. Heel kicks to Curry. Puts one up from 19. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. I know what they say, defense wins championships, but you need some bucket getters too now. Gilgis Alexander against Curry. Nifty move. And that's good. Two. And, and guys, you can't allow Holmgren to gain confidence from the mid-range. He'll burn you when you give him those looks. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Well, I talked with head coach Mark Dagnall. Now I asked him who hasn't worried out there on the floor, and his answer was Draymond Green. He told me he's a high-effort, high-IQ player who can be so effective. Right now, our plan is to stay physical with him and not let him dictate the terms out there. Of course, this means a hard-fought contest out. down low. Guys? Thank you, David. Sorry. And so Steve Kerr calls for the timeout. First quarter of basketball, just over two and a half minutes play. Now, Pajemski. And again, no good by Golden State. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. Caruso, the pass to Gilgis Alexander. Now, here's Holmgren. Guarded by Green. Holmgren against Green. Four on the clock. Holmgren kicks to Williams. Not three off the mark. Not his best efficiency this quarter. Uh, look, sometimes that's how it goes. Well, over the years, the Warriors have had some historic tax bills. Yeah, and for the most part, it's been well worth it because it's led to championships and they generate a ton of income. But now, with this tax repeater penalties, you can see why they've tried to cut costs and every team in the league has followed. And Gilgis Alexander's got the ball here for Oklahoma City. Williams shot is off. And, and he has definitely been struggling in this quarter. Yeah, he needs to mix things up on the offense. He simply just can't keep missing shots at this rate because he's destroying his teammates. A three-point specialist can't let Curry get any space to fire from the corner. That's a recipe for disaster. Now here's Williams. Playing Houston, he was nearly unstoppable. The Rico come at us, and we're coming right back at you. Yeah, I love the competitive fire right there. You train a triple on us, and I'm coming for my revenge. Green against Holmgren. Heald from outside. Good on the three-point shot. Heald, Scott Joms, what do you have for us? Guys, thanks. The Thunder last season's top seed in the West, but they didn't rest on their laurels. They traded for a lockdown defender in Alex Caruso and signed hard-charging big man Isaiah Hardenstein. With their improvements, this is a team set to continue its upward trajectory. They have tons of draft capital moving forward and a ton of upside. Big moves indeed. 
Okay, Shams, thanks for the report. Now, passing isn't the strongest part of Wiggins' game, but he is far from a selfish scorer. Holmgren sets the screen for Gilgis Alexander. That miss is his fourth this game. He's shooting three for seven from the field. Pass to Wiggins. Back to Curry. He lobs it up. And how about the incredible timing on that alley-oop? He absolutely hammered it down. Oklahoma City has gotten half their shots from three-point range to go down in the second quarter. Three of six from downtown. Gilgis Alexander with it. Now defended by Wiggins. The Warriors leader. This one for three. And the rebound goes to the Thunder. Holmgren's got six rebounds in the game. Gilgis Alexander passes to Hartenstein. Got it. And he's now three for five from the field. Yeah, coach's pet peeve there. No box out. Uh-oh. Yeah, you think you got to stop, and it's wasted because of sloppy work on the glass. You literally practice that every day. Jackson Davis with it. He's defended by Hartenstein. And good that time. Pajemski's got the lead up to two now for the Warriors. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. Pass to Hartenstein. Hartenstein with the screen for Caruso. And the dunk by Hartenstein. Caruso knows how to manipulate a defense. That's a nice dish right there. And it's Curry with the ball, bringing it up for Golden State. And we've got a timeout called by Steve Kerr. He's ready to talk things through with the team. Curry. Back to Jackson Davis. Nice pass. Nice catch and a resounding dunk. And he's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is. And he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. 29 points for him last game against Houston. And he was also went to town on the glass and posed his will, chasing down misses all game long. And he makes that one. Money in the bank. Gilgis Alexander is more than happy to try his luck from that spot. Dort against Wiggins. Back to Curry from downtown. That ball's ice feed that time from Wiggins. Curry's got 21 in the game. He's looked practically unstoppable this quarter. The defense, yeah, well, they haven't had many answers for him. Bounce pass from Williams. Dort kicks to Caruso. Pass to Williams. Just five on the clock. Oklahoma City needs to get off a shot. Holmgren can't hit. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. Curry on the wing. Back to Wiggins. Inside. And Kaminga throws it down. And when Wiggins moves the rock, it's a huge plus for the offense. Outside Williams. Now, here's Holmgren. He's coming off a 22-point game against Houston. And he made a living at the line as well. Got there over and over and did some damage. Now, here's Kaminga. Here's Wiggins. And it's Wiggins with the jam. I love it when Wiggins is aggressive on offense, especially when he's near the rim. Thunder trailing by seven. And here is Gilgis Alexander. Eight points for him. Shot to stop the run. That shot, no good. So it's the Golden State Warriors heading to the bench with a seven-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. Their lead is where it is because they've gotten good shots. A lot of good shots. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much, Steve. A good rhythm for you in the first half. What do you like most about how your team's competing? 
just like the ball movement, you know, the drive and kick. Our guys have played really well together. Uh, just trying to move the ball, get a great shot. We'll see if you can keep the ball flying around as we continue. Thanks. Back to you guys. Thank you, David, for that interview. And we'll see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball. And if you're just joining us in this one, first half is in the books. One half to go. Really an incredible game from Stephen Kerr. Man, he's been running wild on them through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. If they don't change their approach in the second half, eh, let's just say his success will continue. And on the floor for Steve Kerr as we get into the second half. In the backcourt, we'll see Curry and Pajemski. The athletic frontcourt pair. Wiggins alongside Kaminga. And it's Green in at the five. The greatest shooter ever, Steph Curry. You played with him. What was it like seeing him day in and day out? I had the pleasure of playing with Steph the first year he broke the NBA record for threes in a season. And when I tell you, he was just scratching the surface. He was always looking to push the boundaries to see what he can do and to work at every aspect of his shooting. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. Following the miss by Jonathan Kaminga. Holmgren against Green. Here's Williams. Here's Holmgren. And the dunk by Holmgren. And I know everyone's thrilled to see Holmgren scoring so well. And this is the kind of effort that could carry on well throughout the year. Here's Pajemski. Good D by Holmgren. Off to a bit of a slow start in the second half. 0 for 3 so far. Now here's Caruso. He's defended by Pajemski. And that one, good. Ooh, Caruso's got that good eye. He can spot any opening. Warriors leading by 3. Curry with it. He's got 21. Kaminga, no good. That's a big donut, folks, here. Start the second half. Four straight they've missed. Gilgis Alexander looking around. Shoots over Curry. That's short off the rim. Defense kind of rolled the dice there, and I'm a little surprised it ended up going their way with the miss. A Thunder pull it in. Caruso's got rebound number five here tonight. And they're winning, but it hasn't been because of him. He can't throw it in the ocean so far. Dort misses. The Warriors have gone over 5 to the start of the second quarter. Extremely cold shooting coming out of the locker room. A shot by Pajemski, no good. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. I'm sure they'll think twice about shooting against him next time. Gilgis Alexander. That's all good, and that's his fifth basket of the game. He's shooting 5 for 11 now. Hey, guys, the D has to show a little more fight. And here's Curry, who brings it up for Golden State. Searching for that first bucket here in the third. Outside, Green. Pass to Kaminga. Shoots it up. And again, no good by Golden State. Oh, man, that's tough. That's definitely one he'd like back. Almost too wide open. Holmgren sets the screen for Dort. And there's the drive to the inside for the lead. Warriors with the rebound. Following this one, they get to host the Mavericks. That game marks the first half of a quick two-game homestand. Holmgren with the steal. Green against Dort. To the middle. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Gets that one to fall. That's his sixth field goal. He has shot the ball 12 times. And it's encouraging to see Dort drop dimes like that. Wanting to round out this part of his game. Curry passes to Wiggins. Kuminga with it. Trying to get something going. Caruso grabs the miss. Caruso's got six rebounds now in the game. Okay, so if I were to say this was a disaster of a period for him, it would be an understatement. But hey, sometimes you've got to shoot your way out of the slump, even for him. Golden State's gone 0-2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Kaminga dishes to Curry. Pass to Pajemski. 
to Curry. Five to shoot. Curry. Oh, the concentration. Down here in the fourth. Outside, Green. Kaminga, the pass to Curry. Kaminga, a screen on Gilgis Alexander. Curry shot is off. And that was a little bit of a range check for him. Yeah, he might have been feeling himself a little too much on that one. He can hit it, but not consistent. Dort finds Caruso. And here is Gilgis Alexander. And it's good assisting on the play was Williams. Gilgis Alexander's got 32 points in the game. And they're really in a good position here, thanks in part to the way he's been able to score the basketball. Kaminga, a screen on Gilgis Alexander. Here's Curry. And that one is off. Good tee by Williams. The Thunder leading by five. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Inside, here's Holmgren. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. 24 points for Chet Holmgren. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Pass to Curry. A three. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. You know what? He's got to look to get other guys involved. The three-point stroke is off. Caruso, the pass to Gilgis Alexander. Off target there. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. Curry with it. Williams picks him up. Pass to Green. Gilgis Alexander with the steal. On the wing, Williams. Let's the free fly. Hits the three-point bomb. And it's a 10-point thunder lead. Nice find by Gilgis Alexander. He reads the floor so well. Gilgis Alexander against Kurt. Buries the long-range jumper. For real. Come at us, and we're coming right back at you. Yeah, I love the competitive fire right there. You drain a triple on us, and I'm coming for my revenge. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Second chance shot. And good work on the boards. They pick up the second chance points. Gilgis Alexander's got 10 points in the quarter. Warriors trail by nine. And here is Curry. Green with a screen on Gilgis Alexander. No good with the triple. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. And the floater, that drops, and it comes off an assist from Williams. Williams has got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. Gilgis Alexander against Curry. Curry, top finish inside. On a night like tonight, Steph Curry is must-watch basketball. He can score from anywhere. The Thunder leading by nine. Here's Caruso. Dort wide open. And it's off from three-point range. Golden State's got eight shots off from three-point land and hit half. They blow the whistle just as he gets it off. That's two points with a chance for another one at the strike. You love how physical Green is willing to get, enduring the foul and finding the bottom of the bucket. What do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for the Thunder? Oh, they've been punishing the inside defense consistently in this one. Look, it's been a very productive area of the floor for them. And just a great job converting those second chance points as well. They're having a great night getting those second and third shot. Opportunity. First person on the foul. Second to foul. Good on the first, and that makes it a seven point lead. And this guy just does everything. Scores, passes, the rebounder. Just an all-around terrific basketball player. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's an eight-point game. Golden State running out of time. Outside curve. They kick out to heel. Green, the screen. From 13, heel can't hit. Nothing is going his way in this half offensively. Really having a hard time finding his shot. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. 
It's Dort on the wing, covered by Heal. Just four to shoot. Here's Williams. Takes it off the glass. And the Thunder lead by 10. They made the most of their opportunities looking comfortable and locked in throughout the night. You have to love their effort. This game wasn't handed to them. They took it. Curry on the follow. Curry's got 37. Gilgis Alexander against Curry. So we see the Thunder get the win here. Some good competition, but the hometown advantage and their ability to stay focused, I think, made the difference. Yeah, and the first step in becoming a good team is your ability to win at home. And they really seem to revel in that opportunity. And, and this is what they came out to do. And that about wraps it up. Alongside Richard Jefferson and Greg Anthony and our reporter David Alden and the entire 2K sports crew. This is Kevin Harlan saying so long. And now our player of the game, Shea Gilgis-Alexander.